In Mario Kart 3DS, Daisy is the first character you can unlock by playing the 150cc mode. To add her to the roster, you must conquer the Mushroom Cup on 150cc. Simply placing on the podium isn't enough. You need to secure first place in all the races of the Mushroom Cup. Once you achieve this feat, Daisy will join your lineup of racers. Shy Guy is among the early characters you can unlock in Mario Kart 3DS. To add Shy Guy to your roster, achieve first place in the Shell Cup on 150cc. This requires winning the races on Luigi's Raceway, Bowser Castle 1, Mushroom Gorge, and Luigi's Mansion. Once you've dominated these races, Shy Guy will be available for you to race with. To unlock Wario in Mario Kart 7, Complete the Flower Cup in 150cc. Begin by placing first in the Mushroom Cup to unlock the Flower. Once you achieve first place in all four races of the Flower Cup, Wario will join your team of racers. Queen Bee might seem like an unusual choice for a Mario Kart character, but let me explain to you how you are going to be able to unlock her. First, you need to place first in the Shell Cup to unlock the Banana Cup. Then, by finishing first in the Banana Cup, Queen Bee will be added to your team. To achieve this, you must successfully navigate Koopa Beach, Mario Circuit 2, Coconut Mall, and Waluigi Pinball. Once you've conquered all four tracks, you'll unlock Queen Bee from Super Mario Galaxy. Rosalina marks the beginning of the final half of the Mario Universe characters. To unlock her, you need to win the Star Cup on 150cc. To reach the Star Cup, you must place first in the Flower Cup to unlock it. And to unlock the flower, you must place first in the Mushroom Cup. Once you have triumphed in all three Nitro Cups, Rosalina will be yours for the taking. Wiggler is an interesting character to unlock, requiring a similar process to unlocking Rosalina but for the Retro Cups. First you'll need to win the Shell Cup on 150cc, then advance to the Banana Cup and claim victory by coming in first place in all four races. Once you've completed both the Shell and the Banana Cups, you'll gain access to the Leaf Cup. By winning the Leaf Cup on 150cc, Wiggler will be added to your crew. Metal Mario is a straightforward but lengthy character to unlock in the game. To do so, you need to win the first three cups in the Nitro Cup series on 150cc. This means placing first in the Mushroom, Flower, and Star Cups to qualify for the Special Cup. Once you're able to race in the Special Cup, choose your best character and cart combination as this will be the most crucial Grand Prix of your racing experience. After crossing the finish line first on Rainbow Road, you'll unlock the final character of the Nitro Cups being Metal Mario. And the last character on our list is none other than Lakitu. Similar to unlocking Metal Mario, you need to place first in the final Retro Cup. After conquering the Shell, Banana, and Leaf Cup, you are going to be able to try your hand at the Lightning Cup. Once there, you'll need to place first on Koopa Cape, Dino Dino Jungle, Airship Fortress, and Rainbow Road SNES version. Becoming victorious in this 150cc Grand Prix will grant you access to the same character that picks you up off of the track when you fall out of bounds, being Lakitu. Bonus alert, to unlock your Mii character, you're going to have to place first in any of the modes of 50, 100, and 150cc, being the entire Nitro and Retro Cups. Once you do that, you'll have access to your Mii character.